dear students uh, myself alamgi choudhury would like to hold this class for you uh, students belonging to higher secondary uh, class second year and in my earlier class uh, i held uh, on causative verbs now i would like to come up with this class again uh, uh, because i couldn't finish the class and uh, today i would like to have a uh, word spread discussion on causative verbs and uh, i will try to uh, mark an end of this class uh, dear students actually causative uh, means producing an effect or causing or uh, operating as an agent uh, say i told you earlier causative bacteria of cholera um, say hiv is the causative factor of aids then flu virus is the causative uh, virus of influenza and uh, so uh, um, what is the causative factor of the accident we don't know so uh, in linguistic form we use causative uh, causative uh, means uh, the causative verbs are used to indicate that uh, one person causes a second person to do uh, something or to do an act for the subject or first person. Uh, he causes an act for him by doing, by giving, by paying, uh, by forcing, by requesting, uh, by payment, by commanding and dear students uh, so we come to learn that uh, somebody do something uh, for uh, him in exchange of money uh, by uh, requesting by ordering uh, by doing something uh, in our everyday life say uh, on our own experience we are unable to repair our laptop, our computer, our uh, TV sets and many things uh, which we do have uh, in possessions uh, but we are unable to repair it. If they uh, are unable to, uh, they are dysfunctional, we cannot uh, repair or mend them. So we need the help of others. In such case, uh, we use uh, mechanics, we use uh, another person who are expert or well versed in such activities. Say we cannot clean uh, or we cannot, uh, we need uh, uh, home, household, we need house help to do our uh, cooking, we need a uh, person to do our shopping. So, in such cases, uh, we use causative structures, causative verbs. And uh, causative verbs sometimes make confusion uh, and we are uh, used to getting flummoxed with such uh, uh, confusion. And so, uh, to uh, pinpoint uh, the problems of causative verbs, uh, I have uh, arrange this class today and I think you will pay a good attention to the class and uh, you will uh, you are able to solve all kinds of problems so dear students uh, let us have a glimpse uh, of this board and uh, here we see causative bars uh, I will just have a hurrying read uh, of this because uh, these are recapitulation and 
uh, the causative verbs are have, get, make. But nowadays in modern grammars, grammar books, let and help also uh, are included. And then uh, first of all we see rule 1 active, subject plus have plus complement plus verb uh, in simple form, then the remaining first. Here notice that uh, have any tense, you can use have in present form, in past form, in present progressive, in any tense. Then uh, the complement uh, which complete the sentences, a complement uh, must be a person and then a verb in simple form verb will remain uh, in base form, the verb will not uh, experience any change. Then uh, rule 2, uh, I want to give you an example, say I have him, uh, I have him clean uh, the room, I have him clean the room, uh, then I have him uh, do the work, then uh, I have Kareem do the work and then uh, I have him wash my car. So, uh, I have given you uh, those examples and then the rule second, uh, uh, subject plus get plus complement plus verb in simple form. Dear students, uh, notice uh, one thing the subject plus get any tense then complement usually person as I told you earlier and verb in simple form, but uh, in, in when we use get verb must be in infinitive here uh, verb in infinitive not in simple form uh, verb in verb in infinitive form. So, uh, I can cite examples in subject plus uh, get any tense uh, complement person verb in infinitive, then I can cite examples. I get him to wash uh, my shirts, I get him uh, do my uh, activities, I get him to clean my room. I get him to wash my shirts. Then uh, any tense, I got him, I am uh, getting him, uh, uh, I am getting him to wash my shirts uh, uh, ne the next day, uh, I am uh, getting him to do my work tomorrow. Uh, these are uh, examples of active causative verbs of have and get. Then. Uh, let us come to rule 3 uh, passive. Uh, so, notice how uh, get have and get are uh, transformed into passive voice. So, here uh, rule 3 subject plus have or get plus complement plus verb in pp. So, uh, subject plus have or get any tense, you can use first tense, present tense. Uh, present progressive, present continuous, present perfect, past perfect, any tense. Then uh, complement uh, usually thing, but the difference you notice the difference here person inactive we use person and in passive uh, complement must be uh, thing, then verb in past participle, pp means past participle. Then uh, I uh, want to give you some examples. I got uh, the work done, uh, here if I do not use by it does not matter, uh, I got the work done by him, uh, by is uh, by him is a redundant is redundant if we do not use by uh, it does not it does not essentially affect the sentence the whole structure uh, uh, remains his uh, meaning and the whole structure is sensible sentence. So, we need not to use by always. Uh, just to make you understand I use here by, I have 
or I got or I had him uh, the room cleaned. Uh, sorry, I got the room cleaned, I had the room cleaned, I got the car cleaned, uh, I got the um, dishes cleaned. So, here uh, subject plus had, have in, have or get any tense, uh, then complement usual thing. Say, I subject uh, had or got uh, the room complement usually thing and verb cleaned first participle. I uh, had or I got my shirt uh, cleaned. Uh, I got the shirt uh, washed. I got the dishes uh, cleaned. I got the room uh, cleaned. I got my uh, I got the TV uh, repaired. I got my hair cut. I am uh, getting my hair cut tomorrow. That means I will get my hair cut tomorrow. So, uh, let us uh, come to make. Make is a little bit different from have or get because uh, make uh, is more stronger or more forceful than uh, have or get. Uh, here, uh, so always keep it in your mind that make is stronger than have or get in uh, performing causative action. Uh, so, make means uh, force, command, uh, uh, such and such. So, subject plus make any tense uh, complement plus verb in simple form. Uh, always uh, keep it in your mind that uh, make never uh, be passive. You cannot, uh, you must not transform uh, make into passive because make always uh, keeps its status or uh, uh, retain its uh, status as uh, active. Uh, make means force plus complement plus verb in infinitive. If I use force, then the complement, then verb in infinitive. But in make, I, I need not use any infinitive, infinitive to or infinitive verb. So, subject plus make any tense, complement plus verb in simple. Uh, say, I make him do the work. Uh, say, I made him do the work say uh, uh, I made him uh, sign the bill, say the president uh, is making the cabinet members sign the documents uh, or the president uh, made his cabinet members uh, sign the documents. Uh, and uh, again the robber uh, made the teller uh, get the money. That means the robber compel or force the teller to get the money. Uh, then again force the teller force uh, that uh, sorry the robber force the uh, teller complement uh, to get the money and then uh, again, uh, let uh, here rule 5 let, let means allow or permit, uh, subject plus let plus complement uh, plus verb in simple form. So, dear students, let means allow or permit. Uh, if I use allow or permit instead of let then subject plus uh, allow or permit plus complement plus verb in verb must be in infinitive in case of uh, using allow or let. But uh, in using let subject plus let plus complement plus verb in simple form. Say uh, I let him do the work and uh, John let his daughters swim wi with her friends. Uh, so, John let his daughter uh, swim with her friends and uh, then uh, again 
जॉन जॉन एलाउ एलाउस और परमिट्स हर डॉटर टू स्विम सॉरी जॉन एलाउस और परमिट्स हिज डॉटर टू स्विम विथ हर फ्रेंड्स देन ही लेट्स मी गो ही लेट्स मी डो द वर्क Uh, the teacher let his students uh, leave the classroom, and uh, my students. Uh, I always keep my student. I always let my students uh, be quiet in the classroom. So, uh, dear students, let means allow or permit. Uh, I let him go. Uh, the president, uh, the president let uh, the cabinet members uh, sign the document, sign the bill, and the mother let her uh, kid uh, go outside. So uh, here, let uh, it has been used as allow or permit. so yeah, i think you are able to understand and then help dear students uh, help uh, is isn't actually uh, causative verbs but uh, it has been included in modern grammar books as causative verbs uh, like let uh, help uh, means uh, help uh, subject plus help plus complement plus verb in simple or infinitive form Uh, in using help, uh, sometimes uh, we use infinitive verb, or uh, we never use infinitive verb in using uh, help. So uh, it is actually uh, sometimes uh, help is actually followed by infinitive, and sometimes uh, it is it, it is not uh, followed by infinitive. So let us come to the Uh, point uh, so let me uh, help subject plus help complement verb in simple or infinitive form so uh, john john helped uh, john help any tense john help helps or john is helping or john helped uh, mary wash the dishes then Uh, John helps the uh, uh, John helps Mary wash the dishes. John is helping Mary uh, wash the dishes. John helped Mary wash the dishes. So you can use any tense uh, in help. Then uh, here I never use uh, infinitive. In the second verb, then uh, in uh, when we use infinitive, say John helped the old women with her bags to find a taxi. So notice, uh, my dear students, John helped, or John has helped the old women. With her bags to find a taxi, because the woman is alone, he has many bags. He is unable to. Uh, he is in a very critical condition to carry the bags uh, because there is no car or no taxi available. So I, uh, John, uh, is there. Uh, sorry, John was there and uh, he came forward to the help. Uh, uh, of the women, and he uh, managed to get a taxi for her. That's why the structure is: John helped the old women with her bags to find a taxi. There, I use infinitive too. Then, uh, dear student, 
the teacher helped his student uh, find his research papers. Uh, again, the teacher helped or the teacher has helped or the teacher is helping his uh, is helping the student uh, find his research materials. So, uh, the teacher helped the student find the research materials. The materials which are uh, used for the purpose of research work. And then, dear student, I think you are able to uh, grasp uh, the meaning of causative verbs and you are able to uh, comprehend the structural patterns of causative verbs and how causative verbs are used uh, in uh, diversified ways, in a multifarious ways in a everyday life. Uh, I think you can uh, solve any problem with the causative verbs. So, uh, here I would like to uh, mark an end of the class causative verbs. Then uh, I would like to discuss on uh, need. Here, uh, I would like to uh, discuss with the verb need. Need is uh, used in a very widespread way in our life. Need is verb and uh, we use need to. So, uh, need uh, we use need uh, in our life, in our when we uh, work with English, we use uh, need verb. And uh, dear my dear students, uh, I think you are uh, very much uh, familiar with the verb need. And uh, here, need to. Uh, when we use need to, uh, if the subject is an animate being, then uh, we use need to. Say, so, uh, a structure, subject. Animate being, animate being, subject animate being plus need to, need to uh, plus the remaining parts. Here, uh, my dear students, mm, uh, need to means, uh, I need to do the work. I and my brother brother need to do the work. Uh, subject plus animate being uh, plus need to plus verb uh, uh, in base form, verb do, uh, does not get any change then the remaining parts. I and my brother need to do the work. 
uh, I uh, need to repair the building. I need to uh, paint the room. So uh, here uh, in uh, regarding uh, need, if the subject is uh, animate being, animate being means person, then the verb uh, need to, uh, I have to use need to and uh, then the verb, next verb must be in base form like that I and my brother uh, need to do uh, is in base form do the work. Then I need to paint the room, I need to repair uh, my mobile, I need to uh, wash my shirt, uh, such and such. Then if the subject is inanimate being, inanimate object. If the subject is inanimate object, then uh, we have to use uh, another structure. Subject uh, inanimate object in any animate object plus need plus verb ing verb uh, I, I have to use ing with the verb that means verb will be uh, gerund in gerund form and then uh, if there is to be verb need to be then uh, the verb then the verb uh, if there is to be the verb the verb will be first participle. So, uh, I, I want to cite examples, uh, the building, the building, the building needs the building needs painting p a i n t i n g painting so dear students uh, have a look the building uh, in in animate object or material the building uh, building is not a person so the building needs painting the building the watch The watch needs repairing. The watch needs repairing. Uh, again, if I uh, use to be verb, then the main verb must be in first participle. The building needs to be painted. The building needs to be painted and the watch needs 
to be repaired. Needs to be repaired. So, here uh, I have given you four examples for your better un understanding. The uh, first one, uh, in case of inanimate object, uh, neat uh, plus verb ing, then uh, neat uh, plus to be, uh, then verb past participle. The building needs repainting, the, the building needs repairing, the building needs uh, coloring, the building needs, uh, sorry, the watch needs repairing, the watch, uh, my mobile needs uh, repairing, the field needs cutting the grass uh, and uh, so forth. The building needs to be, if there is to be, the building needs to be painted, the watch needs to be repaired, uh, the field needs to be, the grass of the field needs to be uh, cut or, or the grass of the field needs cutting. So, uh, dear students, uh, for the time constraint, uh, I have to have a stop here and uh, by the time I pray to Almighty Allah for the betterment, for every betterment of you and uh, so that may Allah bestow his bounty and blessings upon all of us and we are we have been going through uh, an ordeal and uh, we will get rid of this ordeal uh, within a very short period of time uh, because uh, if winter comes, can spring be far behind? Uh, according to Robert Frost, what is about life? It goes on. So, we will be in the hope of better life. Uh, we will get rid of the problem that we are going through nowadays. Stay fine. Wishing you all the best.